Piers Morgan returns to Good Morning Britain after gastroenteritis troubles. The 52-year-old has been ill for the last three days and while he was still suffering from the condition, which is also known as infectious diarrhea, on air yesterday he admitted it was great to reunite with co-host Susanna Reid after the festive break. He wrote on Twitter, England stuffed 4-0 in the ashes. Arsenal humiliated in the Fa Cup. And my gastroenteritis still raging. It's enough to make a man, ill emoji, but hey, it's great to be back at work. Happy Monday everyone. At GMB at Suzanne Rid 100. Piers opted to play it safe by keeping the bucket by his side during the show. He said, believe me, it might be needed. If you stand for manning up, you have to man up. If you stand for manning up, you have to man up Piers Morgan Phil Spencer says his co-presenter Kirsty Allsop drives him mad because she cannot remember what she said. Sometimes she just doesn't remember what she's said and she says a great deal, Phil reveals. I struggle with that. She doesn't have a sensor button and just says how she sees it. But a while later you'll go back and say she said or felt that and she totally denies it. She's dyslexic and sometimes can't remember things in order. She will swear black and blue that she didn't say something when she definitely did. Anna Friel stars in the eye-opening new miniseries about a family whose lives are plunged into turmoil when their son comes out as transgender. The Emmy Award-winning actress will play single mom Vicky, who has to deal with her 11-year-old son Max's dreams of living life as Maxine. When the lad spirals into a depression for spending his life trapped in the wrong body his dad Stephen, played by Emma J. Scanlon, moves back into the family home. But as Max's distress mounts, his parents descend into bitter battles over how best to help him deal with the frenzy of emotions sparked by his bid to transition. Beautifully played by Callum Booth Ford, Max fights on in an attempt to live the life he has always wanted as a girl. Polly Hill, ITV's head of drama, says, Butterfly is a beautiful story about a young boy on the cusp of puberty who doesn't feel comfortable in his own body. It's a heartwarming and emotional script from Tony Marchant that focuses upon gender identity and one boy's search to be recognized for who he really is. Nicola Schindler, of Red Production Company who are producing the series, praised the script. She said, Tony's got a great knack of creating real and relatable characters whose stories strike a chord. The drama airs later this year on ITV. Bosses have renamed their top entertainment gong in honor of Sir Bruce Forsyth. Shows fighting it out for the Bruce Forsyth Entertainment Award will be at and December's Saturday Night Takeaway, The Grand Norton Show, Celebrity Juice and All Round to Mrs. Brown's. 
Jordi Duo Ant and December are hoping to make it a jaw-dropping 17-year winning streak and retain their TV presenter title. But after a turbulent year, in which Ant suffered an addiction to painkillers, they face competition from this morning hosts Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby and Bradley Walsh with the chase. A new category, crime drama, will recognize our love of prime time mysteries. Line of Duty is up against Broadchurch, Little Boy Blue and Sherlock. The Great British Bake Off, which moved from the Beeb to Channel 4, will bid with I'm a celeb, Master Chef and Love Island to scoop the challenge show prize. It's too close to call for the drama award, where Dr. Foster, Liar, Call the Midwife, Casualty and Game of Thrones will clash for top honors. Drama performance will be battled out by Taboo star Tom Hardy, Broadchurch's David Tennant, The Moorsides' Sheridan Smith, Victoria's Jenna Coleman and Dr. Foster's Saran Jones. Dermot O'Leary hosts the event Live on ITV on January 23.